Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It might not be morning when I upload this, but it's morning now. Uh, I have my second coffee. It has been one of those days and one of those weeks. It is, well, today, yeah, today is Wednesday as I'm filming this, but since Monday, I know I talked about this in my last vlog. Uh, it, I knew it was going to get really busy over here because Ryan started his job. So I have been with the girls for eight hours a day and trying to just work in between and multitask like all the planning I have for Miami in less than two weeks. My two new launches next week. So it's been so crazy. I've never been tested so much. Like I've never appreciated being able to go to the washroom with the door closed being able to make a coffee in the morning, be able to like even eat something. Like it's crazy the lack of time you have when you're at home with kids trying to work. It is crazy. Um, but we are managing and Ryan quickly, he's actually on his break right now, but he said he would take the girls to the park to get some energy out, which is fantastic. So I wanted to get this up for you today. Holiday gift guide before Black Friday next week, you guys, make sure you check this video out. All the links will be down below. I have so many awesome ideas and we have luxury and then also lower end things that are just more affordable, um, things that you can get for a mom, things you can get for family members, friends, uh, husbands. I have a little bit of everything. And if I can fit in a children's gift guide into this too, I will, but if I can, I'll do a separate video on that. Um, but yeah, let's roll right in. If you guys are not yet subscribed, subscribe now. I'm gonna be kind of talking a little fast in today's video because my lack of time. I'm enjoying my coffee though. And thank you so much for all the love on the last video. I was going through so many comments. I tried to get through, I wanna say I did like 100 comments the other day, which was crazy. Um, but thank you for all the love. I'm so happy you are like loving Christmas as much as I am and you're in the holiday festive spirit. Um, yes, okay, I'm gonna roll right in. I thought I'd first start off with jewelry because I love getting jewelry at Christmas. Like I'm, even though I don't wear it often, of course I don't even have my wedding ring on right now. That's literally took me 10 minutes to do. I was gonna throw lashes on and then I just didn't have the time. Something's beep. And look who's back. Hi, Mia. Did you have fun outside? Yeah, don't. Yeah? Dad, dad, okay, so Ryan had to go back. I just made soup. The girls are having lunch dad, too. Dad, do, do. Shh, inside voice. Are you having some peanut butter toast and some apple? So I've got soup. I'm gonna have lunch right now. It's gonna be a lot day. To do this right now, uh, but I'm gonna start out with jewelry, like I said. So I would highly recommend if you weren't going to splurge on, you know, an authentic Louis Vuitton or just something very expensive in jewelry, Tiffany's. Um, I honestly would recommend Nicole's store. So it's Glam Luxe Shop. I love her little like trinket boxes that she has. Look how cute this is. Look at this, this is so cute. You can put like earrings in here, little studs. She's got all sorts of jewelry that um, you can get for Christmas. So I'm gonna link Nicole's store down below because she has so many different options um, for jewelry and also for luxury trays, which you guys have already seen. I have lots of those. I'm not sure what her promotion will be for Black Friday, but definitely check it out. I just think this is so cute if you were to receive something like this for Christmas time. And then also she has these cute little trays. So I got the marble one, this one right here. And then I just have this little Chanel pin. Super cute. And then if you did want to go full luxury right here, this is one of my favorite bracelets that I got myself for my birthday. Uh, that's what happens when you get older. You just buy yourself gifts, things that you want. Uh, but this little two-toned heart necklace, I forget the name, I'll link it down below. It's got the silver and gold. It just reminds me of me and Sophia. I wore it for our anniversary and I just think it's so beautiful and dainty and small and elegant. I think it's perfect for the holidays because it has that gold. Um, but if you like silver too, it's kind of just like a mix in between. It's just beautiful. Uh, so yeah, that is luxury. I think, I want to say it's around $500, um, so a little bit of a splurge, obviously, but if hubby, you know, if your wife wants something beautiful, this is honestly, hint it to your husband, it's a beautiful bracelet, probably one of my favorite pieces of jewelry that I own and that I wear. Um, now, the other thing I have right here that I had to bring down, I personally love getting accessories for Christmas, if it's from myself or if it's from like Ryan or a family member, Prada. I love their wallets right now. This was actually one that I got when I was in Vancouver, but I wanted to quickly show you because I think it's a great um, option for Christmas time. So this one right here is the two-toned 
pink and beige wallet it goes with my nails uh, but this would be perfect for like even your mom for your wife or for a friend if you wanted to get something more luxury or high-end um, I mean everyone has a different budget for Christmas I know some people go crazy and then some people just um, you know will do gift exchanges secret Santa and things like that but yeah this is definitely a luxury item I think it is stunning beautiful there we go uh, and just a really unique wallet and a good size. I like this size wallet. I have a big jumbo one and then I also have a small one like this. Now, the other thing I was going to suggest is a pre-loved item. So that's also another thing you can do if you don't want to spend as much money on a luxury good, you can definitely shop pre-loved. I really like Fashion File. There's a local one here that I shop at in Calgary. I'll link all the options down below, plus just a list of things that I can find that would be really nice for pre-loved. Got this pre-loved so this is one of my favorite bags that I use almost every day um, it's small but I mean if I have to just go out somewhere I need a few cards I put my phone in my jacket and then I'll just have a few cards with me because I don't know I always thought I would carry a lot of stuff but unless we have like um, an activity we're going to or say like the zoo or if we're going to like um, a water park if we're going skating then I'll bring my bag which you guys already know which bag I I'm usually bringing um, because I've been keeping it a secret so I haven't like shared it with you but my new launch that is what I've been using for the last year all summer long I can go back and like get photos on my phone too which I will be posting because I've been wearing it for so long now but perfect bag especially if you have multiples but right here this is a Chanel bag that I got and it's just the perfect little pouch it's got the red on the inside which is very festive and holiday I will try to find any other options that I can if I can't find this but it'll all be in the description so I can help you guys out I love look the two-toned again with the silver and the gold so beautiful so festive and a beautiful size for date night um, even if you know yeah I just feel like it's a perfect little grocery bag um, if you don't have like a newborn and you're carrying like a load of things, uh, I think that's a really fantastic option. I'm going to try the soup and the girls are eating apple. I put on a little show just to distract them for a minute here while I finish this. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, hot. Um, I'm having some soup. Soup. So, fragrance. You like soup? You like soup? That's good, boo-boo. I'm gonna finish my video, okay? One minute. Um, Chloe fragrance right here. This was from Orion for my birthday, and he was so picky. He told me the story when he went up to, I think he went to the bay, and he went to the fragrance lady, and he's like, my wife loves pink. The bottle has to be pink. It has to be glam, like, and was just so picky. But when he saw, and she's probably thinking, oh, are you crazy? Like, <laughs> and then he was showing them all, or she was showing like pink bottles. He's like, no, she has that. No, she has that. She has Dior. And um, just so funny. I can't even envision him shopping for me for a fragrance with the girls. Like it would just be so chaotic and crazy. And I guess she was getting mad because the girls were trying to touch the fragrances. But I mean, what are you gonna do? You have kids, right? Um, and patience is key, patience is key. Uh, but this Chloe fragrance is so beautiful, you guys. If I could describe the scent. Oh my God, it just, you know what? I used to wear something like this when I was younger and it brings me back to my childhood, like my, high school days it's so nice it's very springy and like I don't even know how to describe the notes like this is by far one of my favorite fragrances I think it is so the bottle is stunning not to mention on your vanity I have it on my vanity but I love the scent it's sexy like it's just a real I don't even know what's in it but it just smells so sexy for like date night and I just think it's such a nice fragrance um and definitely one of my favorites. The other ones that I obviously shot for are Joe Malone. Uh, so I have two favorite, Max, two favorite fragrances that I love by Joe Malone. So I'll link them down below, I swear. This is gonna be a long day. Okay. So yeah, fragrances, Chloe, and then Joe Malone. I will link down the two to three that are my favorites in the description. Everything will be linked there. The other thing, okay. I personally would love to receive a throw for Christmas. I think they're so nice to have everywhere all over your house, like living room, bedroom, anywhere, like even on our bonus, they are in the guest room. 
Um, but yeah, these two are my personal favorites right now, like knitted. This one's cashmere. I think these are great gift ideas. You can also get them from like Indigo. Sometimes they'll do, if you buy a certain amount, you get like a free throw. Uh, so I think they are great ideas. I'll link down the ones that I can find that are nice for Christmas. Um, but these are just awesome with like, you could do like a little mug with like some hot chocolate mix or something like that. Ryan's just making a coffee right now, but I'll skip to um, a few of my launches that I have that I would recommend. Um, I'll do overlays for this part because I've set up like my entire little Christmas themed of boxes because you guys already know if you have bought anything from my brand that it all comes in a really nice fancy box, ribboned. You can literally put it right underneath the tree. Um, or I do have a lot of sets that just come in like the little separate bags, which I'll do a little overlay so you can see what that looks like. But everything comes like stocking stuff for ready, present ready, and it's just easy to give to someone for Christmas. Um, right here, I actually just gave this away in my last video. I did the bundle and the Boss Babe set. Um, but I mean the bund the makeup bundle would, would be really nice for Christmas because you get a palette, you get five different eyeshadow shades, brushes, and a makeup bag, which I mean, has everything in here, right? So perfect, perfect idea for Christmas. I'll link it down below. Don't buy it now, wait until Black Friday. So I'm starting my Black Friday sale next Thursday. And that's when I have two new launches, my new baby line, which you guys will see a full video I'm doing. I'm gonna film it probably tomorrow, but it'll go up next week. And then also all, everything in my store will be on sale and I'm doing gift with purchases. So make sure you guys check it out. Whole new video coming on that, but I did wanna mention that. So just keep that in mind. I'll be doing lots of posts and stuff. Now, the other thing I have here is a Sephora gift set. I actually just had my camera sitting on this, but this was actually um, something I got for my friend. She wanted this set. And I just thought this was so cute for a little Christmas idea because it had, you can get to try out so many different products and see what you like and want to get in full size. I love when Sephora does these deals. So it's valued at 143 and it's 50 bucks. Look at all the hair care you get in here. So this is definitely one I would recommend. I actually, I got this for her and then I realized I wanted it. So I'm gonna get myself one too. Um, but there's that one. And then I'll link down below the other ones that I see that are good. I did, I'm still waiting on my Sephora VIP sale. Yes, I did get one from Tatcha. She had like a really nice skincare set that I got. I also got a moisturizer from her and so many other things. I got a Laura Mercier hand cream, um, Christmas lotion, uh, special that they had or set and I love her holiday scents like they're so nice the vanilla ombre or ombre vanilla what's the other one she's like a I forget what it's called but they have the best scents for Christmas so I got that set and I can't even remember what else so once that comes in I'll share with you guys on my next video but I'll also link down below some other gift idea options from Sephora that I would recommend I honestly if like if you know someone big into skincare, I am obsessed with the Tatcha cleanser. It's the deep cleanse and I buy it in the massive bottle. Like I wanna say my cleanser's this big. It's amazing. Like I really highly recommend it and it exfoliates your skin, but it's also gentle. So I get the big size. I need to fix the TV now, one second. <laughs> I'm going in no particular order. This is kind of just like whatever I can think of and find that I would really like. Um, so one thing I just bought are these beautiful gold sparkly wine glasses. I've actually received uh, cocktail glasses. I've gotten wine glasses for Christmas as gifts before and I loved that. I'm a huge red wine drinker and so is Ryan. So we like having really pretty glasses for entertaining. I think this is a fantastic gift idea. I've seen so many on Amazon. So I'm gonna link below a few Amazon options plus some more higher end luxe ones that I would get from uh, Crate and Barrel. So they will be on the higher end side, but I mean all our wine glasses are from Crate and Barrel and they're gorgeous. I did get this at a random shop here in Calgary. I can't even remember the name of it, but uh, I'll find ones similar to it that I can find for the holidays. These are also really nice for New Year's. I just love, I don't know, I love sipping from like a really fancy, nice, beautiful glass. And I think it's all about um, like having a really nice set. So if you are entertaining, then you can take out that set and you feel really nice and good. Um, and then, you know, you can just use whatever glasses, like normal ones for any time that you're just having a drink or a glass of wine at home uh, with your dinner. So that would be another option. Okay. 
I just want to eat this before it gets cold. Story of my life. Um, girls are being really good right now though. They have school tomorrow. I have to take them to school in the morning. And then I'm interviewing a nanny. She is coming here. So I'm hoping that goes well. And then also filming another video tomorrow. Okay, hold on. So you guys know for my birthday, my friends all pitched in to get me a gift card for a spa, which was so nice. And we made like a little trip out of it. Um, so I would definitely say like a gift card to a spa would be the most amazing Christmas gift. And then also you could do bath salt. So my friend Tina got this for me for my birthday. I've been trying to do it. If I can't have a bath every day, I'll have one every second day, but it's so relaxing. I love the scent. It makes your skin feel baby smooth. Like it's so nice. So there's so many different ones you can buy. I'll put a few down below that are maybe from Amazon or ones that I would recommend. Uh, the other one I have here, I just got from like, I think Winners. And this is lavender, dead sea salt, essential oil, um, and chamomile for calm. So look at that. Such a beautiful bottle too for display. Um, but I love bath salts. I just think they're so relaxing and nourishing and just there's something about it that I just love. Uh, so I would say just like a nice spa set if you can't do a spa gift card even. Um, you can do like uh, one of those like back massagers or scrubbers uh, with some bath salt and some cream. That would be a really nice idea. I know I would love that personally, um, but yeah, bath salts. It's like a mukbang and a Christmas gift guide at the same time. Uh, next thing, candles. Honestly, you already know like a lot of the candle brands I like, so I do like um, Diptyque. I think they have fantastic candles, especially for decor. So if someone you know likes home decor, I would definitely suggest Diptyque, or there's also Jo Malone, which also has very beautiful high-end luxe candles, or of course, let's see if I can reach this far. Um, yeah. Bath and Body Works. So Bath and Body Works always have, has really beautiful Christmas sets, pre-wrapped, pre-gifted, um, that you can just buy. Like I think there's $15 ones, $30 ones, all different ones. I love this candle. This is so festive. I love when they come out with like their holiday stuff. And like, um, I personally love the candles. I don't light them a whole lot, but they're even nice for decor. Uh, and yeah, this one is the Spice Gingerbread. So I haven't been there this year. This is one I have from last year, but I've seen some really cute ones that people have posted. So definitely check that out. Or high-end, I would say Diptyque, which you can actually get Diptyque from Sephora. And, or you can go from like on their website, but Sephora has so many deals anyways, it's probably a good idea to get it there. Now, if you wanted to go super, super luxe, say they are like a candle fanatic and they love candles, go big or go home, you guys. <laughs> Candle. It's huge. So this is Veluspa, which I hope I'm saying that right. I oh I always know I say it wrong, but I think it's Veluspa and they have the coconut vanilla, which this is one of my favorites. I have, I want to say three of these large candles. These ones are massive, but they are a statement piece. They are home decor for your house. And I have two in the kitchen one in our master bedroom and i just think they're fantastic they're a five wick everyone that comes over always wants to smell it because they've never seen a candle so big um yes honey hold on look at that huge for the girls um just what well, thank you while i have them here <laughs> Uh, but i got this beautiful little um calendar so this is one of the advent calendars uh from canadian tire and look how cute this is now i know a lot of people do different things with this and i had so many suggestions i was asking you guys because these are obviously really small you guys said like little lindor chocolates candy um little miniature figurines and things like that which is perfect i know some people that i've seen do like full like they have numbers in here with full gifts to get like underneath the tree but i have twins you guys that is too many gifts like 50 gifts it's just crazy maybe if i had one um or you know like i just feel like it would be a little too crazy to do that but i mean that's my personal opinion i just don't have yeah i that sounds like a lot of things so i think and for the girls they love anything miniature i think that is the smartest idea and like such a cute little 
exciting thing for them to happen every day up until Christmas. And honestly, Sophia especially, oh my gosh, you should see her little purse. She has a little Elsa purse. She has like a hundred little figurines in there. She's obsessed with collecting them. I don't know what it is about that, but kids in like small little figurines obsessed link below you guys the things i found on amazon so i found a ton of little figurines that i just bought and then also bags of candy i'm gonna get the lindor chocolates because i love those and i just think that'll be so exciting like sometimes they get more excited to have than having like a gift like they're great they're like ryan they're like ryan we go through like ice cream and chocolate so fast in this house i can't say those words out loud or i get in trouble um thank you very much are you all done mm -hmm. okay go watch the show for a little bit okay until mommy's done i'm almost done uh yeah. next thing i have here such a cute gift idea like like a charcuterie board or something like that would be a really nice christmas gift idea i got one last year actually with some like pans um frying pans in or no what did she get cooking like oven pans and some other kitchen things like tea and I can't even remember it was a massive basket my friend Kat put together which she's so creative and it just comes up with the cutest like Pinterest ideas and they're just so so sweet so something like that like you could do a full-on gift basket and add something like this in there or just do this on its own maybe add um you could do like cutting cheese knives or like little little bowls to have for serving or something like that. Just thinking off the top of my tongue here. Um, but this is just such a cute little board. So I'll find the ones that I think are really cute for gift ideas down below. And this is the one that I have here. This is from, I think, I'm pretty sure Crate and Barrel. So you guys would have seen these in one of my hauls that I did, but they're like little serving bowls. You could put like nuts in here if you are entertaining for Christmas. I think they're so cute. They're from HomeSense, but you can find so many different ones. I think it'd be a great gift idea. So the other gift idea, obviously, is my brushes. How can I not recommend them? Um, like I said, I have a video coming next week of my new launches, so stay tuned for that, plus what's happening for Black Friday. Boss Babe, honestly, this is one of my favorite sets to gift to someone because who's not going to love a neutral set brush, right? Like, this is just perfect if they're not like a pink lover or something like that but i mean you can't go wrong with those also getting like a cute little mug or some sort of cup for them to put their brushes into i think is a really smart idea if you are gifting brushes um this is really cute here though i think i can't even remember where i got it honestly you guys but i'll find some different brush holder options for you down in the comments Mia's chair fell over. Uh, I swear, there's so many interruptions, you guys. Uh, but you know what? I have filmed, I think, a wide range of different holiday gift guide things. Um, so I feel like this is a nice, like it's not a crazy amount. I think I went over like maybe 10 different options, but there's honestly just so many great different options that I think I've mentioned here. If there's anything else you could recommend to people, definitely put it down in the comments. Let me know what your holiday um, wants and wishes are. What do you want for Christmas? And also what are you giving for Christmas? I'd love to know down in the comments. And I am gonna be also rep responding as much as possible. I've been getting better, um, but on YouTube comments, I try to do that at night. So definitely let me know what you guys have planned for Christmas down in the comment section uh, and I'll have everything linked in the description so moving forward for next week I already told you I am planning a nighttime routine I also want to do a launch video for you and one other video that I can squeeze in I was thinking of doing a QA. and uh, I mean I find right now it's a little easier to do sit down videos um, when I get 20 to 30 minutes instead of like a nighttime routine will take me like four days to film because there's so many different little scenes that I have to do. And then, you know, you get the comments of that's not a nighttime routine. You don't do that, blah, blah, blah. But if you guys actually saw how crazy, like it is 95% of the time here, like people would be like, why did you even upload that? <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I do have to film different scenes when I can. And, you know, I love including the, like my skincare, my bath time, and just things that I actually do. Um, and then other things that I'd like to include too, like movie nights, we can do maybe hot chocolate or baking or something for this video. So lots coming up. I do want to bake cookies actually with the girls. I think that would be really cute. I got like a little cookie cutter set. Um, so yeah, other than that though, this weekend we have a little photo shoot with all of our mom friends and like um we're just all gonna have like a little bonfire take, take nice photos and it'll be a really fun time they're giggling oh my goodness so funny over here um 
Anyways, though, also another thing that I forgot to mention is obviously a chat books you could do um, like a little photo album book with cute pictures or a frame with pictures. I do that a ton for like Ryan's mom and my mom and just like grandma's and stuff. I think it would be a good gift idea for pictures. Uh, but yeah, I think that is it for today's video. I'm just happy I got this up, you guys. It's good to talk to you and catch you up. I know my life is a little hectic and crazy right now, but once it slows down, then, you know, and I also, I told you guys, I do want to try and attempt vlogmas but every second day i am gonna try it and let me know some ideas of filming and what to film for those i definitely think like baking cooking and just some i don't know random videos of just days and days in my life because that's obviously what i do in a lot of my vlogs um but i'm gonna leave it here the girls have done really well uh and i hope you guys have a fantastic week i will see you in my next video also subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys next video